Hello and welcome to the 2020 Senior Academic Achievement Night for Olentangy Liberty High School. My name is Mike Starner and I'm proud to be your principal. Like you, I'm surprised, saddened, and even a little angry about the conditions we're under at the current time. More than that though, I'm more excited to celebrate and honor the young men and women in this great class. And now, our national anthem, performed by Miss Whitney Locke and Miss Noelle Meeker. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through Or the ramparts we walk 
Tonight, as we go through the Principal's Awards, Academic Accolades, and other special achievements, I want to remain focused on how proud we are of a school of these young men and women. They've supported one another unconditionally and achieved immense, immense accolades on the sports fields, in the classroom, and through the arts. It's not by mistake, though. We have the strongest school system in the state, the greatest kids and families around, and a talented, dedicated staff who brings out the best in our students each and every day. Parents and grandparents, a huge thank you to all of you. Without your instilled values, expectations, and understanding and patience, none of these young men and women could achieve what they've achieved. We all chose this community at one point, and as your principal and a resident, I'm very thankful for that. All of you make coming to work every single day far from a chore and enjoyable beyond belief. As we move through graduation season, the summer and beyond, we will remember these times forever. This is unprecedented and still very hard to imagine that it even happened at all. Remember, tonight it's our job to focus on the students and their accomplishments. Nothing, not even a pandemic, can take away what this class has accomplished. Together, with their talent, with their drive, and their passion, and their support for one another, they've ascended to levels unimaginable by most communities and most schools. As we begin their send-off, let me be the first to say, congratulations, class of 2020. Nobody has done it quite like you. I can honestly say that the Principal's Award is not only the most rewarding, but the most painfully awkward to present. In a place like Liberty High School, where there are so many talented kids, how do you pick just two to, to recognize? Each year, we sit down as an administrative team and counselors and throw a bunch of names out deserving of special accolades. And from there, some fierce conversation starts. This year, we chose four students and quite easily could have chosen 304 to honor as this year's Principals Board recipients. Words like thoughtfulness, maturity, class, integrity, perseverance, originality, all describe the young men and women we're about to recognize. As your principal, it is my honor to congratulate Chandler Meyer, Tegan Pfeiffer, A.J. Roush, and Cy Rayala as this year's Principals Award recipients. When the members of the class of 2020 entered their junior year, many of them took the PSAT, a qualifying test for the National Merit Scholarship Competition. There are three levels associated with this competition, and we have an array of students who will be recognized tonight as commended scholars, semifinalists, and finalists. Liberty ended up with 20 National Merit Scholars. Let's meet these students. First, we have commended scholars. Commended scholars make up five, the top 5% of the 1.5 million who took the test across the nation. That's the top 34,000, again, out of 1.5 million. Here at Liberty High School, we're proud of these students, and there are 12 of them. Alvin Anand, Livia Colvin, Jack Eggleston, Vincent Haney, Nicholas Lipisek, Patrick McFarlane, Sahus Mehta, Naga Pakala, Lauren Sue, Michael Wang, Jenna Weiss, and Melinda Zai. Congratulations, seniors. Once commended scholars are named, students at Liberty High School and around the country can move on to other levels of the competition. A semifinalist is somewhere between the top 5% and the top 1%. We have one student who ascended that level. Congratulations, Rainbow Wong. Students earning the finalist distinction are in the top 1% and fall in the top 16,000 from across the nation. We're tremendously proud of seven students at Liberty High School who met this achievement, and very few schools across the state can match that. Please join me in congratulating Benjamin Billings, Liam Chen, Nitish Deshora, Carly Hamerl, David Pio, Cy Rayala, and Jackson Scaglione. All in Tangy Local Schools and Liberty High School are proud to allow seniors the opportunity to obtain the Ohio Seal of Biliteracy. Students can earn this 
by earning high scores on proficiency assessments in the areas of English and a world language. Again, here we have an array of students who qualified. Let's meet them. Congrats to Gia Caganello, Grace Hodges, Rainbow Wong, Diego Iglesia Delfas, Sydney Koth, Patrick McFarlane, Chandler Meyer, and Renato Piovisen. Under the guidelines set forth by Olentangy Local Schools, the valedictorian is determined after seven semesters and is the student with the highest grade point average. Tonight we honor a young man who is simply outstanding. He has a GPA of 4.545 and has outpaced 552 of his classmates. He plans to study mathematics at Ohio State. Congratulations, Liam Chen, the 2020 class valedictorian. Now it's time to move on to the part of the program where we get to recognize the bulk of our seniors. There are 552 students currently in the cohort. Huge, huge class by most schools standards. We are fortunate again to have a community that has such high expectations and resources for our young people. Tonight you'll watch 268 students get recognized 63 cum laude, which means it's between a 3.67 and a 3.799. We have 106 students who are magna cum laude. That, that means they had between a 3.8 and a 3.999. And then we have 99 more students who are summa cum laude and who will be honored for having a 4.0 or above. And again, if you have your abacus out at home, you realize that's 268 students. 48.5% of this class will graduate with honors. And as your principal, I couldn't be more proud. Let's take a look.
program couldn't be possible without the help and support and efforts of so many. Liz Kaufman, Danielle Pickard, Cindy Salupo, all of our counselors, and especially Mrs. Angela Rafey, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for putting all this together. Whitney Locke, Noah Meeker, that anthem was beautiful, and Doug O'Neill and his choir were amazing with the alma mater. Such a talented senior class, such a great group of people. Thank you to everyone who had a part in making this a very, very special presentation for the class of 2020.